Let's first use fit y by x to assess whether we have differences in these different factors in the variances of the times to campus measurements. So to start, I'll go to analyze, fit y by x, and I'll put times to campus as my y like we've done before. Now I'll actually take both route and time of day and put them as my x factors. Now fit y by x won't cross these factors. That is, we're not going to be looking at the variances of each combination of route and time of day. Rather, at this step, we're simply looking at whether over the entire factor of route or the entire factor of time of day, we have evidence that the variances are differing. So when I click OK, we'll get separate outputs, one for times to campus on the basis of route and the other times to campus on the basis of the time of day. Now, just looking at the dot plot, you can already see that we have some visual evidence here that the variances are not the same in these different groups. That is, if we look at Genesee Drive or La Jolla Village Drive, they're substantially more spread out than Gilman Drive measurements. Now, at time of day, it's a little less clear. It almost looks like 930 is a little bit less variable than these other ones, but of course, we'll have to follow up with this with a proper hypothesis test. Now, to perform our tests of whether the variances are the same in the populations from which these samples were drawn, we'll go to the red triangle next to each of these analyses and produce the unequals variances test. Now, unequal variances will perform four different tests for whether the variances in the population are different. Now, notice in this case, the four tests completely agree with each other. That is, each of our p-values is actually so low, it's displayed as 0. .0000. Now, in this case, we certainly have evidence that in the population, the variances among these groups are not the same. Now, each of these tests make different assumptions, and we're not going to get into those assumptions right now. But at the outset, I'll just say that Levine's test is a nice one to use. So if you're just looking at one of these tests for whether your homogeneity of variance assumption has been violated, I would look to Levine's test. Now, let's also look at the plot we're given. Here, we're showing the standard deviations for each of the different routes. And we can see that Gilman Drive is significantly lower than the other routes in terms of its standard deviation. So in this case, we have a test that certainly agrees with our visual inspection. It does look like Gilman Drive had lower variance in its measurements than the other different routes. Now let's do the same thing for time of day. Here we have a less clear case. So let's go ahead and produce the unequal variances test. We again get the plot of the standard deviations. And we can see that 930, in fact, does have a lower standard deviation than the other groups. Here we still have values for our p-values that are less than 0.05. They all differ a little bit, but I think we can be reasonably confident in this case that we've again violated the assumption of homogeneity of variance. It isn't the case that these different groups were drawn from a population that have the same variance. 